Well, we're learning more about how the city is cracking down on illegal short-term rentals on Oahu. Our Kristen Concilio follows up with new details tonight. The city's having a hard time cracking down on illegal short-term rentals. In fact, so far this year, it's fined about 100 violators. This house right here is one of them, located on Auli'i Street in Aleva Heights. The city says it's among the worst violators on the island, with more than $7 million in fines racked up since 2022. There's people that I don't recognize, and then they leave. You see them with their suitcases coming and going. The city's moving to foreclose on the property. While enforcement is challenging, it says it's using better technology and software to find the illegal units. But some fear there could be unintended consequences. It's a problem that on this island we kind of ignored for 30 years, and now it's so big we quite don't know what to do with it. During this time when the vacation rentals uh, proliferated, they grew to the point where last year uh, spending by visitors staying in vacation rentals in Hawaii was 25 to 30 percent of all of tourism. So if you talk about you know getting rid of vacation rentals, there um, there's going to be um, unintended consequences. The purpose of weeding out illegal vacation rentals is to help prevent over tourism and crowding of our residential neighborhoods. The city says there are only about 1,400 legal short-term rentals on Oahu. And it has no idea how many vacation rentals are operating illegally. Tourism is our is the only game in town, really, other than um, military federal military spending. So when you're talking about um, cutting uh, one portion of our market, which is vacation rentals, um, that represents such a big share of the total uh, of the total market, uh, it's a big deal. The fines for illegal operators are ten thousand dollars a day. If you want to report an illegal rental, we have a link on our website at kitv.com forward slash links. Kristen Concilio, Island News.